<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in case you don't know who this is, but I'm, I'm taken by surprise, and I think it's because I have the most yellow on, is why I got it. You're, you were second best, yes. But uh, one thing that we're going to find out is why she chose yellow, and when we see this, we will see the yellow, and she'll explain how she chose it. And I'm just really tickled to be here and to be chosen to unveil. Do I just unveil it right now? So let's take a look at the name of it is? Hello Yellow. Hello Yellow. Oh my oh. heavens. Oh. Wow. There are so many yellows. Look at this beautiful, look at this great fabric in here. Dragonflies. Mm. This is just exquisite. Oh my God. Wow. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> Photo. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Martha, tell us about this quote. Well, um, there was some talk uh, about six months ago about orange because Joe was uh, curating this show in. in uh, Iowa. the Iowa Quilt Museum, yeah. and uh, it was about orange. I didn't really have an orange quilt, but I uh, made another quilt that had a lot of orange in it, the tribute to uh, Rosie Lee Tompkins, and uh, so that, that went back to Iowa. Uh, and so I thought, well, maybe I should make an orange quilt, but uh, I thought, well, now everybody's done orange now, so yellow, nobody's done yellow. So, uh, 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 it appealed to me because of what's back there, the, the blue and the red. Mm -hmm. right. So I brought those out of storage uh, to put in, in the room with yellow so that, that we would have the, the three primary colors together. Right. And, uh, and then I whipped out this other little quilt, just, just finished it. Um, but th this is the back piece of the quilt. Mm -hmm. uh, this quilt, when you get a, a chance to look at it, uh, it's a major change for me. It's what I call a Kawandi hybrid. Uh, it's, it's made in the Kawandi style, but I used pieced quilt blocks. I've, I've never uh, done work much like that before.